So we've done all the primary sheeting um, and then I then went on to doing a mass bit of sanding. A little bit of advice on the sanding, I've got an old little soft mat here and I've done all my sanding on the mat so that if I'm pushing down on anywhere I'm not possibly pushing on a hard surface and damaging the underneath. Just be very careful and be wary of the curves because <laughs> but there's not a lot of straight edges on this so things like if you're just sanding the edges I made sure that I've got it supported over the side and if I just twisted that like so then I've then got a nice flat surface to work on so just a little bit of thinking about when you're sanding so the next step is is we have this plastic cover now in the build uh, pictures that you'll get um, you'll, most of you will have already cut this out already so I had to wait for mine, so it's just turning, mine's just turned up, so that's going to go on there like so. So I'm basically going to cut out this area just behind this former here, and then open up this area. When I've done that, the next step is I'm going to infill this area, top and bottom. the next step will be when we've infilled this we're going to be inserting these ballast beads into the front uh, when we've done that the next step will be um, sorting out the elevons um, I've got these servos from Robot Birds it's a Jenning D531 metal geared um, it's a nano digital servo that's the actual servo um, that fits in very nicely um, into this cavity like so so I'm going to be fitting that in there and then the next bit is we're going to be using these to actually hinge the elevons to fit them in place like so um, but I will go that's the whole next stage of this video is going through this whole process so this video is getting it all up ready before covering Okay, so, update. I have uh, cut my hatch. I've got to be honest with you, I've made a bit of a pig's ear of it. Uh, but I've got the hatch to fit, like so. Now, the next thing we've got to do is we've got to get your beads. Oh, I wish I hadn't have done that. Uh, these beads are then got to be inserted into this former here. And then when you've done that, you actually mix up about 18 grams of resin, if you've got some just to seal those balls all in place. It's quite critical you don't go mad with the glue because it's all about um, sorting out the CAG properly. So that's the, my next step. What I've also done is I have um, done my hinges on my uh, wing. Now a little tip here, I've got to be honest with you, I was a little bit nervous about because obviously there's some hardwood we've got to cut into there so I came up with my own little fix um, couldn't use that because that's too big so what I did was I got one and I actually ground mine down on the side shank of an old file I've got so you can see I reduced mine to that size and I then ground the slots in and that's worked perfectly. What I did was I actually epoxied mine in, my hinges in, but I made sure that I got plenty of epoxy and I just used this little tool and I actually squidged plenty of epoxy inside the holes first and then um, I have then added the hinges. Just gave the hinges a little bit of a um, lick with um, some sandpaper. The other tip is um, I've got a spare one here. My advice is just give that a couple of good folds over the centre line. There's that little hole there and you want to make sure that that is actually right on the edge. So at the moment mine are glued to the main spar but not to the aid, to the elevon. So I'm going to cover these now but they're all ready to go and I'm just going to mark where I can then fit them. So my next step is to just fill this glue fill this hole in with the glue and the beads when I picked them all up and um, we're ready for the covering um, one last thing I haven't added the servos at the moment 
the main reason is is I want to do that after I've actually got the covering done because I don't want to be faffing around with the arm coming out so I'm going to install the servo after I've actually covered the wing now I just got to pick all these up now okay so I poured my resin in and I'll tell you what I did do did the foil bag that my hinges came in I cut it into that shape into a little funnel and then poured it in um, it's a lot to go in uh, my advice is is to obviously make sure that the wing is sitting not quite vertically you want it sloping back slightly as otherwise it's going to pour out the front but um, yeah that's in good and proper uh, one little tip I don't know whether it helps or not but I got this old drill which I um, put this on but that vibrating and I actually just had it resting up against the fuzz so the vibration seemed to just get some of the uh, resin to just vibrate down now all we've got to do is wait for that to go off happy days right so the resin's going off, I've done the elevons, I've done the hatch, um, really I'm now ready to cover. So um, I don't think anybody building this is not going to need advice on covering, I wouldn't have thought. So hopefully the next time you see the Prandle wing, she's going to be ready for flying.